What is going on guys, Manic Badger here and welcome to the next installment of our Fulham career mode. So the season is just about to kick off and uh, our opening match of the season is against West Brom. So in this episode, we're going to bring you episode, uh, episode, this game against West Brom, a game against Bournemouth and then our first ever European game against Elsborg in the Euro League. So it is a qualifier I believe, well obviously it says there, I've just noticed it says qualifying round. Um, so we need to win over those two legs in order to get into the group stages. Um, but we're going to end that this episode there so that you guys have chance to respond before the transfer window ends. So as it stands now, you guys have got a pretty good idea of how much, well we've got just under nine, uh, nine and a half million uh, in terms of transfers left. I'm, I'm pretty sure there might be some transfers that we're still waiting on, so we'll see if they go through. Um, but that will all happen in this episode, and you guys can also let me know what players you want us to sign for Fulham. So we're going to go against West Brom now, and it should be a pretty easy game. I mean, we, we played against Valencia in the last final of the uh, preseason tournament, and we played so well. So, so well. So we're hoping that can continue. Here we go, the new season is here. We're at the Hawthorns, ready to take on the Baggies. And it's a pretty exciting season. Like we said, last season we learnt a lot. We needed to get quality players in. We didn't have the quality in the first team and I feel like we've really done that. We've shored up the defence a little bit more. Horn has absolutely dominated the nets for us. And I think now with the addition of Mike Smalling, I think we've got that. Kuyate is coming into midfield. We've also got Turuc and Ali still there. I think our midfield looks formidable now. Kostic on the left, Williams on the right, and Rodrigo up down the middle. I think it's a winning combination. Hopefully, I, I'm proved right. Let's have a look at the West Brom team. Stearman starting against us. First game, we've just sold him to uh, West Brom, and he's already in the team. Diego Capel starting... For West Brom on the left, wow, that's a big signing for them. A little bit of a, uh, well, an undeveloped talent. But yeah, this is the team we're going for. As I already mentioned, the 4-3-3, the holding variation. Kuyate holding there down the midfield for us with Turuc and Ali up front. Kostic is on the left and Inaki Williams on the right. And our top goal scorer from last season, Rodrigo, is starting up front. So let's see how we get on against West Brom. <clears throat> and hopefully the first three points of the season will be coming home with us. Riedeval gets his body across. Calms us down again. Turuc gets his head up looking for a long ball. Wow, what a ball that is to find Kostic. Kostic coming down this flank. Cuts inside. Still got it, Kostic. Scoops inside again. Scoops. Gives it across to Rodrigo. Rodrigo shoots. Evans clears it. Kostic is still there. I threw myself off with a stupid word. I couldn't even say scoops inside. He scoops inside. Rodrigo rolls his man. Rodrigo got his chance. Rodrigo. Blazed wide. Kuyate powering forward. Plays it through for Rodrigo. Rodrigo gets another chance. He hits it. Evans blocks it again. But that is just what Kuyate can do. He's such a big physical presence in midfield. Steals the ball. And he tees up Rodrigo. Turuc crosses it in. Into the box. Rodrigo with the header. Opens his account for the season. 25 minutes in and the Spaniard scores. Lovely little roll there. Completely loses his man. Into the area. Easy little header. And I don't think Foster was helped there by uh, being blocked off by his own man. But Rodrigo won't complain. He's just opened his account for Fulham this season. Header from Smalling. Finds Kuyate. Kuyate still going. Kuyate holds it up. Kuyate rolls it off for Deli Ali. Oh my god. I thought he missed it. But Deli Ali strikes it from outside. And he gets his first goal of the campaign. What a good bit of play. All started off with Kiyate bursting forward. Had the uh, vision to look up and oh my god, that is actually a really good goal. I didn't think he 
hit it that well because it just looked like it sort of flew in but if you look from behind it started off outside of the post and it curled back in that is a fantastic finish from Deli Alley. Loose touch from Stearman. Ali plays off Inaki Williams. Inaki Williams with the pace into the box. He goes. Inaki Williams hits it. Oh! Nearly finds that top left hand corner. Oh no. Capel with a really good run. Riedervolt with an even better block. Horn hoists it long. Mosquito trying to find GG. Is there going to be enough time? Marek GG skips inside. A great little run. Marek GG is going to play it across for Paul Zetti. Oh 3 0. Oh oh, 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 Nail in the coffin. Oh, 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 three goals, three points. And a fantastic way to start the new season. The important thing is can we carry on? The whistle goes. And that's going to do it for this first game. But I'm very happy with how the team played and how we're performing. <laughs> so I'm just in the uh, manager's office just to look at the squad numbers um, because obviously I've, we've got a couple of players that we've shifted around so um, I'm looking at updating some of them and I do think that uh, oh yeah also because number 26 was actually Smalling's uh, number in real life Matthias told us he commented, if you guys have comments and let me know, then we can do stuff like this if you just let me know what, what sort of players you want. And the story there, Kuyate sparkles on debut, which is really good. Transfer off for Jonas Rasmussen. I think we're going to go ahead and accept it. He's not going to be a player that we're going to use, so um, he can go to Ireland. Uh, Chelsea do not want to sell us Loic Remy. And that's fine and um, Arsenal have said that they don't want to pursue Deli Ali, which is also fine because Deli Ali played really really well in that last game for us and if he can carry on with that sort of performance level then he will have proved me wrong in, 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 in keeping him we're back home for the first game of the season well should I say it's our first home game of the season <coughs> After a very good performance away at West Brom, we're hoping to continue that form and maybe look for one of those miraculous three out of three wins. Let's have a look at the proper lineups. It's basically, if it's not broken, you know, don't fix it. So we're playing with exactly the same team, same formation, hoping that we can get the same result. Let's have a look at the Bournemouth team. Federici starts in nets. Francis Butcher, Afonso and Mings. Make up the back line. Got to look out for Gradle on that left wing. And obviously the ever-threatening Callum Wilson starting up front. Wilson with his first run. Manquillo cuts it out. Plays it through. It's given away to the dangerous Gradle. Gradle cuts in. He's lost his man. No, Wilson turns. Horn has to save. Otherwise that would have been a really easy goal. Rodrigo. GG. Be on side. He's played in. Marek GG. Oh my god, what a save by Federici. I thought he might have been offside. He was onside. He tried to squeeze it past the keeper and he just managed to get a hand back. Chris Smalling tackles there. Smalling looking for the through ball for Rodrigo. Rodrigo with one skill. Rodrigo still going. He tried to play it through to Inaki Williams, but it went to GG instead. Big moment. Ali, Marek GG, onto Williams, Williams plays it through for Rodrigo, Rodrigo rolls it under, oh my and we've got the lead, come on, we managed to get the ball back, the quick pass, and then that well timed through ball, and good run from Rodrigo, ensures he's got his second in as many games, Oh, Nani with a skillful path to kill Oranti. Brings it up and it's in. Oh, I don't know if that was a block or a save by Horn. Either way, it's gone out for the corner. Nani crosses it in. Back post. Redevolt clears it. Atea's trying to get rid of it. Francis.
Oh no, Teo's trying to block it. Linetti, Horn with the save. And Ranty's offside. Woo! Redeval clears it. Not far enough. Glombard crosses it in. Back post. Ranty takes it down. Mankio with a good block. I should have stayed on my feet though. McDonald onto his right. Turn. Butcher's still there. Tees it up. Glombard. Smalling's there. Trying to get anything on it. And it's cleared out. Still trouble. Bournemouth shoots. And eventually it goes out. I think at that point every single player from Bournemouth apart from the goalkeeper was in our box. Redeval out to Gradel. We'll take that. Just soak up some time. Yellow card. It's a tactical foul. Riedewald takes a hit. Hopefully we can keep this one out. In goes the cross. Horn collects it. Take your time. And it's thrown out. We get the point. A nice little 1-0. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But uh, very, very happy with that. Bournemouth all over us. They deserved more. But we got the goal that counted. And we got the three points. Oh, European Knights have come to Fulham. It is our qualification game. We finished sixth in the league last season. So we secured that last place. And now we've got to go through qualification routes. In order to get to the group stages. So nice and early on in the season. We've got European games. And we're facing the Swedish outfit Elfsberg. Uh, I think that's how you say it anyway. Uh, and it looks like they are short of money because they have got about 50,000 different sponsors plastered all over their kit. Apart from the goalkeeper. I think that must be the uh, bonus. What's the point in that? They've got double sponsors on each left and right side. It's the same sponsor. I don't know. Anyway, we're going for a bit of a changed team. We're going for basically a new back line. Delgado, Miazga, Ongeni and Sasaka come in. Pozzetti's holding. And Braithwaite starts at left wing for us. I just wanted to keep it fresh. Obviously give the other lads a bit of a time to play. And also some recovery time for our first team players. Alsborg's team. I can't say that I know any of their players. So uh, we're hoping... That, you know, we, we should have enough about us to uh, to get this win. And make it 3-3 three and three as well, which is the important thing. And you would think that Inaki Williams should be able to score against this opposition quite easily. Turuc onto Pulzetti. Pulzetti fires one in. Ali, Martin Braithwaite basically oh walked it in. God. Too easy. Right back was pulled all the way across. And he was just standing. Look how much room Braithwaite had. Look at that. He's just standing, waiting, waiting. Slot at home, Cooley. 1 0. Oh, Rodrigo picks it up here. Plays it through. Inaki Williams is there. Inaki cuts inside. Inaki Williams! Braithwaite with the header, and he's on the rebound. Offside. Oh, unlucky. I was wondering why you're not celebrating. Turuc turns his man. Turuc still going. Hits it. Pushed out. Inaki Williams on the rebound. And he just passes it to the keeper. Turuc onto Pulzetti. Pulzetti. He's got Braithwaite's run. Is this going to be enough? Braithwaite is going to play it across to Inaki oh Williams. It's, oh it's so cheesy. It's so sweaty. But I wanted to get Inaki Williams off the mark this season. We saw at the end of last season how big of a part confidence plays. It definitely did. Because anything he was trying just wasn't working. And he gets his first goal of the season in the Europa League for us. Doubles our lead. There we go. Whistle goes. And it's three wins in a row for the first time in God knows how long. But long may it continue. You guys have seen the squad that we've got. We've got some pretty decent coverage all throughout. If you want to slow this down at any time, just pause and have a look through each one of them. But um, I'm pretty happy with how the team is shaping up. The only thing that I might want to do is maybe bring in a higher rated striker. But we've got Braithwaite. We've got Rodrigo who's been incredible for us so far. Um, a couple of good lads coming in. Maybe a, just a really good midfielder 
instead of Ali, because Ali started off really well, but I, I, I think he's sort of plateauing. I think this is sort of his peak. Obviously, the squads haven't been updated because I started this back before, you know, at the start of FIFA 16. So, you know, we haven't been able to get that really good status for each one of the youngsters. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But there's a lot of games happening, so we need to make some signings. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you leave a thumbs up. And uh, leave your comments down below for what sort of players you want to see us bring in. We've only got enough money for one or two not very, very good players. But, you know, I'm very happy with where the team is. As you can see, at the moment, we're sitting at the top of the table. I know it's only two games in, but, you know, that looks pretty good. Um, and we're hoping that we can carry that on. I'm going to leave this here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.